hello welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a while but i'm back now so you do the thing like share subscribe and comment down below uh before we go any further i want to take this time to just say i am deeply sorry for people that are affected by the coronavirus whether it's you personally your family your friends or colleague or someone you know we are praying you know, honestly, I don't think anyone was ready for this. I don't think the government was ready for this. We are all in this together and we will get through this together. Guys, especially my people in South Africa, it's real. The coronavirus is real. I hope you guys take it seriously. Um, also, you know, just stay home if you have been requested to do so and just continue to wash those hands. There's no need to panic about the toilet paper. But... I have a snack crate box and I cannot wait to share with you guys what's in this box and where is this box coming from. So it looks like the snack is from Denmark. Um, so let's figure out some fun facts. Fun facts. The name Lego is an abbreviation of two Danish words, Leggot, meaning play well. Greenland is part of the kingdom of Denmark. You're never, you're never more than one hour or 30 miles from the ocean in Denmark. I want to live in Denmark. I just want to be surrounded by the ocean. So I've had the snack crate box in my fridge for a while. Um, I have a few and I will upload those videos later. But for today, we are just doing the Denmark. and uh, we will start with I think this is called snack chips it looks like that let's try it mm. it just tastes like regular um, chips I don't think it has a flavor you know like barbecue or sour cream it's good not bad i like that um and then we have kim's osteopops my denmark people hit me up hopefully i said that correctly um and just let me know if you guys like any of these snacks mm, this is good my daughter will like this they're very fluffy and they look like this um they really taste similar to cheese kales from South Africa, even though the size is smaller. This is called Smash Sweet, Salty, and Crispy. That's quite a combination. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. Um, it looks weird. It looks like like hats. Like um, I have no idea. Like a Christmas hat or something. Santa hat. It smells salty because on the inside it looks like it's got some salt in there, but it's chocolate outside. So this is very interesting. Okay. Okay. My Denmark people, this is definitely a smash. Is that scum or scum banana? Um, it looks like the um. Ooh, I don't know. I'm allergic to bananas. Uh, it's marshmallow inside and chocolate on the outside. Mmm, it's so good. It's really, really good. So far, everything I've tried is really good. Denmark, good job on the snack, man. Okay, so this guy is called Flipper. Flipper is about to get flipped in my mouth. Um, I don't know, that sounded really well. But let's try it. Uh, very, very sticky. But something that the kids will like. Definitely not for me. 
I'm not really sure how to feel about that one. Um, and we are going to try Super Flyers. Super Flyers. Flyers. Strawberry taste. Um, I usually, oh my gosh, I had the other ones open and this one wasn't open. So it's quite, uh, it's a little bit hard for me to open it. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. I can just like sit like this and just like smell it. I think that <laughs> I'll just smell it and gain the weight that comes with it just by smelling it. I feel like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Uh, oh, mm, 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 I'm thinking. It's got sugar. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Literally sugar coming out. This is just like diabetes calling my name. I will skip that. It's good. You know what? I think if I just smell it and not eat it, I'll still be satisfied because it smells so damn good. But I cannot be eating sugar directly like that. No, no. Um, and we have, I think that's supposed to be gold. 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 What is this called? Please comment down below. Oh, well, I'm not going to know how you call it if you write it. Right? <laughs> ah, let's try it. You can never go wrong with chocolate. However, I like dark chocolate. What kind of chocolate do you like? You guys, let me know in the comment below if you like chocolate. And if you do like chocolate, what kind of chocolate do you like? I like dark chocolate. Um, I feel like mostly dark chocolate is like healthier for you than just regular chocolate. I don't know. Let's try this one. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be a pink thing inside or anything, but as you can see, I took a bite and I am not taking any more bites. So this is this one right here. Um, um, let's give it a try and see. The other chocolate really, I didn't, it didn't really have that much in it. So hopefully this one has something interesting, you know, like a filling. Mmm, it does. Mmm, this is good. Um, and then we have this. I'm not sure. Is that a Tate original tart? Oh, okay. My Denmark friends, please help. Um, I'm going to try this one too. Um, it looks like it's got some nuts in it. It's really interesting sometimes when they do this milk chocolate when there's something else incorporated in there because they can be very um, sweet. Mmm very interesting that i like you see that this is good so the favorite of favorites in the chips was definitely their oster pops these were good i would eat these i would give this to my kid you know my little one would love this and i can see myself snacking on these they're not very the cheese is not overpowering very fluffy very light so those do it for me you know what this banana situation was a good situation this was good i think i'm gonna give this a a tick um and then this right here was um i love the smell of this this will just keep it for the smell the diabetes no um and then i guess the favorite chocolate was the yankee or yankee that one won the game if i had to choose between these two uh, um i probably would choose this one because it's got two different things there's nuts in there um there's other stuff in there it just makes it very unique very interesting and i mean it's very it's different i would eat this and i would think if i ate this in denmark and i found it here i would definitely be like oh this reminds me of denmark um, opposed to this you can find a um, a chocolate with toffee pretty much anywhere in the world so this one wins thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that video i will see you in the next video